This is a temperature controller that I got off eBay for around 15 bucks with shipping that I'm going to use as a controller for a do-it-yourself sous vide cooker. And I just want to go over really quickly how to wire it. So the ports on the back, there's three, three spots to wire. There's NTC, some Chinese writing that I don't really know what it says, but according to the diagram that comes with it, this is for your line voltage. And this is for your load, um, and it's the switch, as you can see right here. This unit here is rated for 110 volts, so it's good for North America. You can get other models, 220 as well, but in our application, 110 is perfect. So, what I've done is I've wired the temperature sensor probe into the NTC port. I have a cord power cord wired into the line voltage. From the line voltage, I'm going to take my hot, which I've colored black here, and put it into one of the ports here. From there, this is your this is your gate. So whenever the temperature reaches the set point, it's going to either turn on or turn off depending on if you have it on heating or cooling because this unit can do both. It can do um, heating and it can do cooling and the difference between the two is one when it reaches the set point for say heating it will shut off so this will turn off. When it reaches a set temperature for cooling it will turn on so if it's too say if the temperature is say 30 degrees Celsius and you have your set point at 25 when it reaches 25 it will shut off I'll demonstrate that here in a second so from there we're going to wire from your neutral on this side right here your neutral so this one's hot this one's neutral neutrals gonna come over and what I've done is I've wired it into a receptacle. So you're going to wire this onto the, the silver side of your, of your receptacle. Now, it's just basic home wiring. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, I suggest that this um, set of instructions isn't for you. Uh, so from here, for your gate, your switch, you're going to wire that one into your hot, onto the hot side. So this side's neutral, this side's hot. And I've just put it in a receptacle box right now, um, just as a proof of concept. I'm going to mount it up with the controller and the box really nice um, once I know this works. So next I'm going to show how, how it works. So I have everything set up. So I'm going to plug in the controller. And as you can see the light, I've, what I've done is I've put a night light on and into the receptacle just so we can, we can see when the, um, when the switch turns on and off. So I'm going to set my set point to 45. So I have two glasses of water, one hot, one cold, just so that I can dip the temperature probe in and to reach the desired set point. So you can see that it turns on and off. So 45. Right now it's reading 21.1. I'm going to take the temperature probe and when it reaches 45, it's going to shut, the light will shut off. So 
there you go, it's off. If I take it and I put it into the cold water, once it reaches below 45, it turns back on. So we can use this as a controller for our sous vide cooker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a crock pot into the receptacle and have this probe in the slow cooker. And since the slow cooker changes temperature, well, relatively slowly, hopefully we'll be able to um, get the desired results um, with a good temperature control for cooking some, we'll try cooking some eggs and see what happens. So again, up to 45, off, on. So it works quite well. So what I've done is I've got my crock pot out and I've pre-filled it with some hot water. I have my temperature controller on. I've plugged it, plugged the crock pot into the receptacle, kept the night light so I can see that uh, when it's cycling on and off. Um, you can also gauge it by this here. Now I'm going to take the probe and put it in. I'm going to use the low setting because the high setting what happens is your element is all the way around and you might get hot spots and your food might not um, you're going to get maybe areas of the pot that is a little hotter than in than say where the volume of water is in the center at least that's my assumption so I'm going to use the low setting as you can see it's at 59.4 and I have my set point at 60, I'm gonna set it to 63, which is what I saw on the internet for perfectly cooked eggs, at least soft boiled type eggs. So I'm just gonna verify, 63. The heating is on, the light is on. So what I'm gonna do is just leave it alone until it reaches 63. I'm gonna put some eggs in in a second. Okay, so I have two eggs. I'm gonna drop them in. Cover it up. And then we're almost at 60 degrees. I'll just leave it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've left the eggs in for about 40 minutes. I'm gonna take them out. Still nice and soft in the center. Peeling them up a little harder. Well, they're certainly still soft, but the outside's cooked a little bit. Okay, so they are hard to peel. Oh, the yolk looks really good. Oh, the yolk is set. Okay, so there we go, sous vide eggs.